Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Grimmo. This is Christopher Drains. This show is for fans by fans. This show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue. Get all your hockey equipment, local jerseys, uh, puck skates, skates uh, customer service, skate sharpening. And if you just want to go talk hockey with the guy, go for it. Uh, you can contact them at 414-800-7585 or go to HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Yep. Really cool guy. Uh, loves hockey. Uh, supplies most of the local youth teams in the area. Uh, yeah, kind for, of, you, for you locals, it's located across the street from the Wilson Park Ice Center. Yep. For you locals. Or Wilson Park, for that matter, with all ten blocks it is. Yeah, it's, right it's over like there one on, of the hugest parks in uh, Milwaukee. It's right on uh, 27th and Howard. Yeah. Um, right by uh, what that Clark Gas Station over there. So there's Clark Gas Station going straight across from it. Well, not like straight, but like on that side of the road, right across the street is there. And on the other side is Wilson Park and the Ice Center. So it's uh, the Admirals used to practice there. They also used it still as, I think, a third center. That for our practice, um, MSOE obviously being the second one and our home arena being the first. Yeah. Um, so it is kind of nice to have all these places we could go and you can also go skate there. So yeah. Wilson Park. Um, also, he has gear cleaner uh, equipment. So if your gear smells a little musty and the girl, your wife or girlfriend's been barking at you, take it over there yeah, and help you clean it. Cleaned up for you. They have, it's a one-stop shop for all your hockey needs. Yep, um, so while you're here is the Prayers versus the Red Wings. Now this game, Red Wings have had the Prayers number over the last 10 meetings. It has not changed. Yeah, basically everybody that we thought wasn't going to play today basically burned us by playing, especially Larkin. Yeah, Larkin. Um, the only thing we hit the nail on the head was at the Nassiu. Yeah. All right. Well, here, let me start, and then you could do your thing. And... Have at it. All right, shots on goal were 42-28 in favor of Predators. Now, that's that's kind of bad, considering the score was a 5-3 uh, Detroit. So, Predators outshot them 42-28. Uh, Face-off percentage was a... Uh, 55% Predators, 45 Red Wings. Uh, predators were actually 1 for 2 on the power play. Uh, Red Wings were 0 for 2. Penalty minutes for each team was 4. Uh, hits were 18-13 in favor of Predators. Uh, block shots, 18-9 in favor of Red Wings. And giveaways was 9-8 uh, Predators. All right, so scoring in the first was Tyler Bertuzzi with an assist from Dylan Larkin and Anthony Mantha. Then scoring again in the first period was Anthony Mantha with a, a goal this time instead of assist, and Tyler Bertuzzi. That line had been killing us all night, yeah. and it, did, it didn't change. Um, then in the second period, it was all prayers, and it was uh, Victor Arvidsson with an assist from Matt Duchesne and... Uh, Ryan Johansson on the power play. Um, then we had Phil Forsberg with his second goal of the year. Oh, that was second. The first goal for the Predators was Arvidsson's second goal of the year. Um, you have Ekholm with his second assist on the night with the Forsberg goal, and Duchesne with his fifth. On the season, yeah. Um, then Dylan Larkin scored with an assist from Anthony Mantha and Tyler Bertuzzi. Then we had uh, Matthias Eckholm got a goal with an assist from Turris and Jan Kroc. It's good to see Turris getting back to his old self. Um, over the last couple seasons, we've been barking up the tree of whether or not to trade him. Well, yeah, dude, it's game two. There's 80 to go. I know, but what I'm saying is... is <laughs> Don't put a leash on your opinion quite yet. It's early. I know, but we're still remembering the pains that have been the last two years. I will uh, continue. Um, and then Lucas, Luke Glendening uh, scored uh, with an assist from uh, Valtteri Filfala and then uh, scoring the, uh, it was an empty net goal was Tyler Bertuzzi with an assist from Glenn, Glenn Denning and DeKaiser. Yeah, that was Bertuzzi's second of the game. In net for uh, Detroit was Jimmy Howard. He stopped 39-42 with, uh, uh, with a .929 save percentage. Um, 
um, in net for Nashville was UC Soros. He stopped 23 at 27 with a save percentage of .852. Not his greatest night. Um, referees were Kelly Sutherland and Ian Walsh. Linesmen were Derek Nansen and Matt McPherson. McPherson. Uh, head coach for Detroit is Jeff Bilsha. Uh, obviously, we know head coach of the Nashville Predators is Peter LaViolette. Scratchers for Detroit were Jonathan Erickson, who I said was injured. Uh -huh. um, Andreas Anthonisio, who's game to game, who I said was injured. Uh -huh. And Madison Bowie, who's one of their top defensive prospects. Scratches for Nashville were? Uh, na yes, yeah, scratches for Nashville were Daniel Carr and Matt Irwin, no change from game one. Um, we did see during the game a little bit of the shuffle, of the shuffling of the lines. Um, Which is something I was barking up the tree for all last year, shuffle up the lines, see if it was just a matter of guys not playing with the right line. Um, I think we all noticed in this game that I, I think there was part of the team looked like they overlooked Detroit. I know I do. <laughs> yeah, we both, we did. both did. Yeah, yeah we bo if we did, and the fans there did. The players probably did as well. Yeah, and the players did, the media did, everybody did. So, you know what? This is game two on the year. They're 500. You know what? There's still 82 more. To, 80 no, to go there's more. 80. Dude, you keep thinking there's more than 82. I want more. <laughs> there will be more if they go to the playoffs. <laughs> Just um, saying. Um, so, given that. Um, Tomorrow, we will be covering the Milwaukee Admirals uh, season opener. Our video will be done around 6-ish because it's a 3 o'clock p.m. puck drop from yeah. Grand or, uh, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. Iowa. So, uh... And this, then, uh, yeah. And then Tuesday, uh, I will be coming at you solo with the, uh coverage of the Sharks and Predators. So those are... Next he might be solo, depending on if I can get to his house after school in time, because, you know, I got school Tuesday night, so I can't watch it. Yeah. Um, we'll so be doing previews before each game for the rest of the year. That's like a new thing we're going to throw at you, unlike last year when we used to do our previews during our post-game show. Yes, um, we're doing the previews before, so you know who to watch. Yeah, and we're going to do a better job, like, uh, studying the injury reports, so that way we can give you more accurate info. Because, hey, this is only game two for Predators, so we're, we're working through some early season bugs like the Predators are for. Well, also, if you look at the early season, um, you know, injuries this early in the year, you'd rather have them now than, you know, a week yeah. before the season ends. Or like a whole month of misery like we had last year. Um, to uh, that, we have, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue. We already plugged them in. He <laughs> gave our commercial. Watch our show from the beginning. You'll see the whole commercial. Yeah. Um. So, uh, oh, yeah, Dan, well, this show is by fans for fans. You forgot that tagline. I did in the beginning. I got it in the beginning. You yeah, know, but that's something you can get into. Us. Well, if they could see behind us up the middle, it's right there. Well, I take up half the screen. I'm big. Same. <laughs> All right, anyways, so like what he said. So, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Danny Gomo. This is Chris Petrage. And we will see we will see you tomorrow, and I will see you on Tuesday. All right, guys. Later.